Tonight, pink balloons lit up the sky. You can see here in Durham, this in honor of five-year-old Chloe Fennell. More than 100 people gathered to pay tribute to this little girl tragically killed Wednesday. All new tonight, Aaron Thomas talked with another family that has gone through a tremendous loss. So we thank you today. This is what solidarity looks like in the face of tragedy. Loved ones and friends consoled Brittany Dash, a mother who sadly lost her five-year-old daughter, Chloe Fennell, to gun violence. Francine Gray spoke on behalf of her friend who's overcome with shock and grief. She wants to thank everybody for coming out, showing love, showing support, helping her family in this time of need. It's just too much, too often. Bishop James Spence offered words of comfort to a community in mourning. He, too, is disturbed by young lives taken too soon. It's not something we have to just say has to stop. It's something we have to activate as a community to ensure it stops. We talk about babies and even have to stand a chance. The killing of Chloe striking up a familiar pain for Sandra Person. Her nine-year-old grandson, Zion Person, was shot and killed in August of 2019 while riding in a car with his family to get snow cones. Two Durham gang members are serving life sentences for his killing. Repercussions and consequences need to come behind what a person stands behind a gun and shoots someone. Taking a stand against gun violence. It's what this community wants to see. Instead of commemorating the loss of another young life. I was Aaron Thomas reporting. Now the suspect, Brian Luster, has yet to appear in court. He's Chloe's mother's first cousin. He'd been living with the family at the time. The 15-year-old in this case, Destiny, who shielded Chloe from the gunfire, went through surgery and is now in stable condition tonight. And we are praying for her.